Darius Jackson should probably go into hiding because the whole world is looking for him right now. After what he did allegedly to Kiki Palmer, it's not safe. And he's looked at as an abusive man beating on a woman as popular as Kiki Palmer. And we don't have the whole video, but the evidence looks bad. And I want to tell all men, keep your hands off women. If she makes you that mad, you don't need to be around her. Leave her alone. But this has caused Kiki Palmer's mother to get involved in the situation. As we all know, Kiki Palmer has filed a restraining order on Darius Jackson. And now the brother, Sarunas Jackson, has weighed in on a cryptic post. This cryptic post here I'm going to read is pretty interesting. We don't know. Who he's talking about we are all debating here in this sector if he's talking about kiki palmer or if he's talking about his younger brother darius jackson but it comes from sarunas jackson and this is what he posts the most disgusting vile abusive manipulative person i have ever encountered in my entire life abuses almost everyone y'all will see just send positive energy to the babies. Any child in the middle of something like this does not deserve it at all. Wow, so damn sad. We still we still don't know who he's talking about. We don't know if he has an issue with his own brother. I'm not sure. But it could be he has an issue with Kiki Palmer. I'm not sure. But as it seems, the mother of Kiki Palmer feels like she has the answer. And she claps back at this pulse in a major way. Here we go. Look, I've never done anything like this. I've been in this business for 22 years. I've seen a lot of stuff, but this is, this is, I, I can't help myself. For Sharonis Jackson to post on his Twitter, uh, uh, the ridiculous stuff that he's posted when he knew his brother was abusive. I went to Sharonis over a year ago and told him that his brother was abusive to my daughter. And he said, uh, well, I used to be like that too. What? So now he's posting on Twitter like he's this uh, special guy. We, we know he's the biggest boy in Hollywood. He's disrespectful to women, just like his little brother. He taught his brother how to be abusive. So he don't get to act like He's this special guy. No, you're a f boy and you're a part of the problem. So if this post is true, which I'm not sure it is, the mother has come out. She has never been on social media from what I understand at this level. She's making this video on the behalf of her daughter, but she's accusing not only Darius Jackson of being abusive towards women, but also Sarunas Jackson of being abusive towards women. And he knows that his brother behaves that way. And many women will cite to, you know, Darius Jackson's earlier tweets when he was like, you're a mom, why are you wearing that? Stuff like that as evidence of him having an abusive proclivity. But at the same time, I want to play another clip from a brother by the name of IQ Shahid, which asked some pretty interesting questions about women and abusive men. What's good, y'all? It's IQ, man. I'm out here about to get it in, but I got a serious question, man. I, and, and women, y'all got to give niggas some real answers, man. Okay. Why is it that when a woman has a choice to choose between a f nigga and a good, genuine guy, whether they've been dealing with the f before or they were single or, you know, let's just say before they was, they was already, and they find out this is abusive or he's a piece of shit he doesn't work don't got no money no ambition no drive don't take care of himself his family his kid if he has kids i don't and, and, and a woman genuinely gets a choice like she may meet a guy you know and, and he's just like you know way better than this guy he's got ambition drive goal oriented you know what i mean loving caring nurturing family oriented but they'll still choose the bum ass who don't pay no bills who probably in and out of jail at the age of 40 or whatever, just, you know, well overdue type shit. Like, why do y'all still choose those? I mean, it's the equivalent to like, if you have a beat up car, right? Say you have a 1993 Honda Accord, and then somebody, one day you run to somebody and say, hey, you know what? You got a Honda Accord, but look, I got this brand new Maybach right here for you, or this brand new Ferrari, or this 2021 whatever or this whatever you know what i'm saying way better than that brand new off the showroom flow 
way more expensive. It's not you can you can rely on the car. It's not gonna break down on you. You can get to work with the car. You ain't gotta put no money into the car. And the bitch still choose the up ninety three Honda. I don't get it. But you know what? It's not for me to get because I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? But and this is off some shit that. This is like, I'm asking because it's a, it's, a, it's a personal situation. I'm not just making this up, you know what I'm saying? So, can y'all please, ladies, give me some insight as to, far, to, as to why y'all do this type of shit? Because the shit is like, it's like, do y'all want, y'all want toxic shit? Y'all want like, a to beat y'all? Like, or is it some psychological? Like, what is it? Like, let me know, ladies. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Shout out to that brother, IQ Shahid. Check him out on YouTube. But I know what you guys are going to say. O'Shea, how dare you post that and what are you trying to mean? First of all, any man in a relationship with a woman that agrees to be with a woman should never put your hands on a woman. I don't care what situation it is. You need to do your best to get up out of there. And what it appears to be with Darius Jackson, he had a choice. They say he broke into the home and he assaulted this young lady. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. You should not even deal with a woman that even makes you feel like you have to even even think about putting your hands on her at any level it's just not worth it for you and it's not worth it for her and again putting your hands on women is a terrible thing because always remember that is somebody's mother that is somebody's daughter that is somebody's sister and always remember if nothing else you got a mom you got a sister you got a daughter and that's enough for me when you put it into that perspective you would never even want to touch a woman ever in your life but let me just put it to you like this. What brother IQ Shahid says raises some particular questions. And I'm gonna ask these questions to somebody like Kiki Palmer. She has been in the industry for many different years, right? She is bisexual. She likes white men. She's in the prime of her life. I wanna even go a step further and ask this very important question. Why is it that Kiki Palmer is even in a situation with a man that's insecure like Darius Jackson? That has to be talked about. And it's, it's, it's insensitive, I know. It's easy to blame a guy who's a bum like that, but the reality is she should never even be considering a man like Darius Jackson in the first place. How did he even get access to somebody like her? She's been in Hollywood for many years. And that's what I'm saying. Kiki Palmer has exclusive access to men. Men that women are dying to meet. How does she get with somebody like Darius Jackson? And that's what I'm talking about. Look at Lori Harvey. Lori Harvey is able to go from Damson Idris to whoever else. And it's not much difference in beauty from between Kiki Palmer and Lori Harvey, in my honest opinion. The reality is, is that a lot of ladies today, and I'm going to be honest, Kiki Palmer, you see it with ladies like Lonnie Love. You know, you see it with ladies like Lizzo. The, the downside of, of dating a guy who's not as successful as you is that is an insecure guy insecure people are dangerous they are haters and when you have the attitude that you're a boss chick probably i'm not sure that's her attitude but it's you know surely seems like it and that you know hey you don't have to really answer to anybody which it definitely seems like it is well what happens is insecure guys will want to clap back and the reason why they will want to clap back is they don't have nothing to lose they don't have nothing to lose and ladies have to understand that when you are Kiki Palmer, you are Lizzo, you are whoever else you are in the industry, and you're dealing with a man that has nothing to lose. You have a man that doesn't have what you have, or you only with him because he has good looks and you don't really want to compete for, you know, a man on your level or things like that. You're risking the opportunity that something bad can happen. And a lot of ladies, if they don't complain about some kind of abuse from a man, well, I'll tell you what they're going to comp uh, complain about, taking care of a guy. Look at what Tia Maori is going through, okay? Now, her situation was a lot better because Corey Hardwick ended up being somebody. Maybe this guy, Darius Jackson, didn't want to become somebody fast enough. So he didn't respect them, but most women are gonna be complaining about, look, I'm taking care of these guys. Um, you know, they're not contributing to the relationship, or it could be, I'm not sure if she's the kind of woman that is, you know, basically abusing the guy verbally or whatever the case is. And even if, even if she is, it wouldn't make any difference. The guy should just leave. He should just leave, all right? Even if that was the case, he should just leave. It's not even worth it. But that's the whole reality of what we're dealing with here. We're talking about that right now. And the reality is a lot of ladies don't want to ask the question, why are you with a guy that's that broke? 
Why are you with a guy that's not on your level? How did you even get there? Do you know that a man who was broke can't even access Beyonce? He can't even get close to her? Do you know a man who don't have nothing can't even get close to Jennifer Husband no matter how good he looks? Do you know that? That he won't even have any level of access? Do you know that? Do you women know that? Do y'all understand that? And I think these are questions that really need to be answered here. And again, I think the mother is right and the young guy should definitely keep his hands to himself. But for women who are gonna be successful, you also gotta know you're risking it all dealing with a man who's unsuccessful, okay? Men are not wired to be betas, to be housewives. That's not how men are wired. Men are wired to be more aggressive, all right? And you should know that when you're dealing with guys. So ladies, what do you think? Guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. And guys, always remember, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high.